Broccoli is known as a nutritional powerhouse. It's full of vitamins, minerals, fiber, and antioxidants. Some say that eating broccoli helps to reduce inflammation in the body, and it's also a good source of vitamin C. Just one half cup of broccoli provides 84% of the recommended daily intake for vitamin C. So while we know that broccoli is good for us, the question is, what's the best way to cut it? I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. I wanna show you how to make broccoli florets. You can either make small florets or large spears. So depending what you wanna make, let's start out with the bigger broccoli spears. So I'm going to cut the stem back here. I'm gonna save this because you'll see we can use that in a creative way. For the spears, you would take your knife and cut down through like so, so that you have these longer pieces. Let me show you that again. So that's how you would get big pieces like that, which are great for stir fries. Now, if you want smaller florets, then you could cut more of the stem away. And any spots like this, there's like a little brown part here that looks like a buggy. So we'll just discard that or you can trim around it if you like. So now you can either, if you want large florets of broccoli, you can leave it like this. Or if you want them smaller, you can cut them in half. You can even cut them in half again to get nice smaller florets. So, you know, whatever size you want to make them, you can choose whatever size you like. And you would cut cauliflower pretty much the same way where you're sort of cutting from underneath rather than, you don't want to cut down this way because when you do that, you get these very angular pieces in the florets that looks a little unnatural. I like to cut from underneath and then it breaks apart, leaving you with a little bit more of a natural look. Now I told you I'd show you something kind of jazzy you can do with the stems. So instead of just throwing this away, you can use the broccoli stems as a nutritious and tasty alternative to celery sticks. So I'm just going to peel off all of this tough outer skin. This we're not going to use. This we can discard. So then once you've removed all of that tough outer skin, you're left with this very tender inside that's very similar in texture to like a water chestnut, if you've had those in Chinese stir fries. So you can either cut them into rounds and use them exactly like that, like you would a water chestnut in a stir fry, or you can cut them into spears like this and use them instead of celery sticks for dipping in hummus or something. Sometimes I even just cut them on a diagonal like this and then steam them right along with the broccoli florets. Now that you know how to cut broccoli, there's going to be no stopping you. You can steam it to make a great side dish and serve it up with a nice salad dressing. Or you can saute it in with other vegetables to make a delicious stir fry. You can make a creamy pureed soup out of it, either on its own or combined with vegetables like onions, garlic, leeks, and cauliflower. I could go on and on. The options are endless. But however you make your broccoli, I hope you enjoy it, and I'll see you the next time.